Okay, quick short little video kind of help better explain this idea I've been working on. I try to explain it to people and it's kind of easier just to make this video to show you. This is the first one I made. Anyway, the idea is forced perspective kind of diorama type thing. Give the illusion of like a long hallway with multiple doors. You know, make things smaller as they recede in the distance. Gives that illusion of uh, distance kind of in a short space. That was the first one I did, kind of wrap my head around the whole mathematics of forced perspective and making it in sculpture form. Then I made this one. And the light went out. The bulb burned out on this one, which usually goes in the top. But we move this light. So you can see it's kind of fluorescent light in the ceiling, kind of a hallway. Didn't quite get what I wanted, but it's kind of close enough. But it's kind of, you can see the width. And anyway, so that was the second one. So I went from that one to this one, and then now there's this one. I'm working on this one now. And this is meant to be like an abandoned building kind of thing. I don't know if any of you have seen some of these beautiful photographs that people take when they do urban exploration. They'll go inside an abandoned insane asylum or a hospital or an old factory and they take these really beautiful photographs of all this kind of decay which has this kind of hauntingly beautiful thing about it. I don't know what it is. This wall comes out for now just so I can get to the lighting in the back. And uh, once I'm happy with the light, yeah, I'm going to make this wall permanent. Kind of shore up the edges. The baseboards or whatever. And anyway, that's out light. I kind of made a little light for that. And uh, I want to put these in a gallery where it's kind of dim lighting. Um, that way the lights and the sculptures kind of have more effect and create that mood. But for the purpose of a filming, you got to put the light on it so you can actually see it. It looks washed out otherwise. Um, this is how the back looks. The lights, little switches. See the LED. Uh, I'm using these little LEDs that you can get at Radio Shack, different colors. And then you have to use resistors. I didn't. I didn't on the first one. I blew out a really nice bulb, three dollar bulb. But you need these resistors. And anyway. Yeah, you just wire them up to batteries and all that good stuff. You gotta buy wiring and crimpers and then you can do the lighting, which is kinda cool putting lighting in sculptures. And so yeah, that's kind of this latest idea that I've been working on. Kind of easier to show you in a video. Um, I'm gonna show this one quick little video that I made in Google SketchUp of another sculpture I want to make from uh, the old apartment building I used to live in. Um, a stairway in the apartment. thought it would make this cool little sculpture. This is a kind of frame I want to put around the rest of these. Kind of a hardwood frame. Kind of make them look nice and clean on the outside. Um, maybe I'll put graffiti on the outside. I don't know. Anyway. Ooh. I'm editing this in. I forgot to put the chair that I made for this sculpture in here when I filmed the last 
video. Um, what's interesting about this chair is kind of looks correct from that angle, but if you look at it from straight on, it's distorted, which was done on purpose so that it would kind of match the force perspective line. Uh, anyway, I forgot that. I mean, that's a vital part of that sculpture, so I wanted to shoot this again so that you could see that. Anyway, back to our regular schedule program. And then eventually, I want to make like the same kind of thing, but I don't know, kind of imagine if I were to make a sculpture out of that. That's a painting I'm working on, have been working on for quite a while. Kelly's Olympian here in Portland. Famous bar. Lots of loud Harley Davidsons. Powell's. So anyway, imagine that kind of as a sculpture. Kind of like that. What I want to do is make a brick apartment with fire escape, light. This will be dark at night. Maybe like a curtain in the window. You see a TV in the in the back, kind of flashing. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, just want to give you all a better idea of what I'm talking about with these crazy little sculptures. Anyway, that's it.